psychiatrist um, has uh, the piece that it's my belief that we have maybe three more, four more years to turn around what's happening on the earth, especially in relationship to global warming, um, loss of species, etc. And um, and I'm not quite sure, you know, where the question unwinds here. Um, but but the piece that I'm very concerned about is how to assist people, given you know that this is my belief, given that it's um, I think it's like top priority. How to how to bring people to um, associate their how they're living with um, with what's in, in other words here here's all this feedback that's telling us that what we are doing as human beings is having a huge impact. However, I believe that there's a huge gap for most people with their behavior in relationship to the feedback. For example, even though we know that you know parts per million carbon is like I think up the 380s and it should be down below 350, um, people still drive as much, they still travel as much, they eat meat as much. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm wondering how your book and what you've learned might illuminate how to go about making, you know, it's like the stakeholders aren't caught up with what they're doing to the planet. Who, who are they? The, the, because about producing, using fossil fuels and being so Yes. Right. Well, you know, as, a, as an integral ecologist, I'm not green. So I'm very skeptical about certain claims made by uh, uh, people who, who are assuming that we have three years left or otherwise the planet's going to be toast. I mean, do you remember the population bomb? 1968, Paul Ehrlich. Ehrlich predicted that by the 1970s, hundreds of millions of people would be dying of starvation. If you don't remember this, you should take a look at it. So it's been a, one of the problems that environmentalism faces has been a series of predictions of doom that haven't come true. So there's kind of a, you know, wolf, uh, you know, the little boy cried wolf or a chicken little or whatever uh, around environmentalism. So people have become somewhat suspicious of it. I mean, it's suspicious of what the Sierra Club says in some cases is what Exxon says. Now, why should that be? Well, at the Sierra Club has an interest. It's not innocent. The Sierra Club's not an innocent body. It has a point of view, and it's going to promulgate it in any way it can. For example, I got a, I belong to all these environmental organizations. I mean, I've been paying, spending money on you know, membership since the 1970s. All right, so I mean, I'm t I mean, I, I want these, these environmental organizations. But I got a, a flyer from the NRDC, National Resource Defense Council, uh, just a couple of months ago. Now, what, it, what are you supposed to show on the <coughs> polar bears? All right. Now, what, why are they showing polar bears? Because it, you know polar bears are all going to die because the uh, Arctic is going to melt and the polar bears will be all dead. Well, actually, there are four times as many polar bears today as there were 50 years ago. Part of that's because their hunting has been res restricted. Uh, the, the, and the whole issue of the status of the polar bears is very much up in the air in the scientific community. Despite, some people say this, some people say that, it's not so self-evident. If someone tells me we've got three years left to turn it around, uh, and you, this is what you said, then I say, well, look, then why don't we just, our, our attitude in Orleans would be, well, then let's just party. You know, we're not going to turn it around in three years. How many people think tomorrow we could just close all those nasty coal, coal plants that produce energy? We'd all be dead quickly, shutting down the coal plants. I mean, what do you think fires the electricity that runs your gas furnace? I mean, coal, I don't like coal. I wish we could get off coal tomorrow. Who wants, you know, nasty stuff? There's a lot of problems with coal. But it's a source of energy we have. Here, here's what I would say. I mean, I, I, sh I share your concern about that we have serious environmental problems. I, I don't, I'm not convinced right now that CO2 is the biggest one. I mean, I think there are other problems that are being left out of the equation. 
Let me give you an example of this. I was just reading an article.